Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, based on recent experience, this run has got to be getting close to the end. Plus, I still, I'm not that impressed with my deck. I don't know how it has held together this long, but six wins and one loss is an excellent record. And even if this is a horrible video and it ends up six wins, three losses, that's still a good, that's still a good arena run. Surprisingly effective arena run for this hunter regardless of the outcome here. But we're going to see if we can get a couple more wins, obviously. So far, it's all, I think it's just... I think I've been a little bit extra lucky in terms of getting the right cards together. Getting off one of my good combos every time. Uh, I'm not sure this is a good combo. All these things sort of work together, but they're not actually going to work in the early game. I'm going to keep it anyway, because the, the curve, I think I'm going to take a chance on it. If I go Timberwolf, he goes something, I go Hyena, trade, it might work out really well. It might work out really horribly. Okay, we're going to find out. You want to coin token. Coin and make a 1-1. One -one. That doesn't look like you're making a 1-1. One -one. What are you doing? <laughs> it's time for a little blood. See, that's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit you for one, and then I'm going to bounce my guy. Whatever. He doesn't need to die for this. Now, if he can buff this thing's hit points at all, then I'm going to be sad. That would be unpleasant. Not on my See, that's also unpleasant, and because it came from this guy, it's bad. But it's not the effect of is not quite as bad as just giving him hit points, which would have been horrifically bad. However, now I can't put out anything without getting their asses kicked. Everything I got is just doomed. I probably should have just played the alchemist and flipped this guy, and then hoped that his he could kill one of them, and that this guy wouldn't have a chance to enrage. Ugh, now the situation is even worse. This hand is not, like, right for dealing with his very efficient, like, rush tech there. I don't have an, I don't have any spells I can cast with him. I need, like, the, him and the explosive trap would be good or something, but it's not going to work out well at all. Uh, I can't do it. No, I should have played him last turn. Now it's not as good because the Procolis can take him out. Plus, if that's a noble sacrifice, then I can't even kill anything attacking. So, awesome! Now, if I put this out, I can bait some attackers into killing it, but that's not necessarily helping me. Maybe that's what I have to do, because I'm in mm -hmm. bad shape. I think that's what I have to do. I think this is a bad situation. I think I've got to put out the hyena to die. <laughs> and i got to flip this guy, which is oh also God. horrible. <laughs> But hopefully it means that I can get him killed and not enraged. This is both of these guys are being played under a horrible situation, and that sealed the game. There, I'm never gonna come back from this. Like his deck was all rush, and until this, I might have been able to claw back some card advantage later on. Now it's it's ridiculous, just ridiculous. Like, I can put him out and have him die. I guess I could shoot that guy. He might come back at one hit point, but that's better than doing all that damage to my Rhino, I guess. Revenge? Yeah, okay. Also not good. Look at that gigantic croc. Like, uh. No, his, his deck worked out exceedingly well, and... My hand, which would have been okay for dealing with some people, was really bad for dealing with a rush. Because all my minions were just, sl were like, later game two-cost minions. All of them were just minions that stand up poorly against crocs. Like, he could just, he had better stuff than crocs. But if he just played all crocs, mm. it would have still, like, crushed the hand that I had. So that was pretty bad. I can play this guy, he's not going to do me any good. This guy's charging is really actually not that helpful right now. I gotta just play some junk, basically. Drink with me, friend. Like to play with fire. He's gonna seal it with a consecrate, even though he's already won. 
He hasn't already won technically, but he's already won in practice. Like, he didn't need a good play there. He needed he played anything at all, or even nothing, and there's a good chance I couldn't come back from it. I have no spells to trigger him up. I have all these all kinds of spells in there that could have been useful. I could have had the Hunter's Mark at some point. Could have totally, like, changed the board at certain stages, but it's way, way, way too late now. I can try and mount something here, but it's, again, way, way too super ultra late. So we're going to sacrifice you to do that. Then you technically survive. Challenge accepted. that. And technically he has to do something to kill me. He doesn't have the 10 damage on the board. Chances that he can't finish me this turn, extremely slim. And it doesn't matter, because even if he knocks me down to one, what am I going to do? Oh, look at that. He's just going to slow roll it. It's fine. There's no, there's no pressure. It's not like I'm going to come back or something. I can kill that, which is a plus. But no. Mega dead. He had good rush minions, and I had... A handful of, like, castable minions, but they were all bad rush minions. They were all the kind of stuff that just flat out loses to Crocs. And again, the stuff he had was actually better than Crocs overall. Like, the uh, the, the bubble guy is fantastic. Obviously, the Berserker is better than the Croc, even if he never got to Berserk. The threat of it was there. Yeah, there was nothing I could do that time, so... We need, we need it. We, come on, we got two losses now. Losers bracket, right? We can have like some little bit friendlier matchmaking. I don't know. I mean, that guy just. I think he had just like the right draw, for beating my draw. So, but and I'm not saying that it took absurd luck to have that. It took probably less luck than I've had a lot of these wins with this deck, where I managed to pull it out by getting some dumb combo. That I have one copy of. Your soul shall be mine. Hunter vs. Warlock, I feel like, is a good matchup, just based on the hero powers, but we're really going to have to see what I can pull out. I, with four cards, I'm going to keep the Sludge Belter, because he's so fantastically powerful in the arena. I mean, he's really good anyway, but the rest of my stuff was all pretty castable, so it was like, I'm going to keep him. I'm going to... I'd like to save it for him. It, he's, it's not that I want to rush him out, though. He is super efficient, but no, I'm going to get this guy. So I can do some damage. I mean, I could have just played the boar and done one, but I'd rather save this as a surprise. That one point of damage to finish something might actually be useful. Certainly much more useful than doing one damage to my opponent and having a crappy 1-1 one -one out of the game. Anyway. Okay, that worked out awesomely. Because what it means is I can hit him for three. And then... Bounce him to heal. That's actually not really accomplishing much. But it feels good. It's like, I got free damage. Even though it has actually gained like nothing. That's bad. That's predictable. That's not going to help right now, even though it's... But you know what? Uh, I'm going to regret it later, but in, I want to win this game. I think having this guy out right uh, now might actually work out just because his stats match up. If he can kill that in one blow instead of unleashing a whole ton of goblins, he's probably just going to get blown up by something. But... That was my three mana turn, and I was not going to do anything good with it, so. From the void I come. Ooh. Killing him is going to, I'm sure, cause problems, but he did leave me the option to take this guy out. Or I could just hit him for more damage. Which may be a good idea, except that it gives him the option to kill it with him. So that's inconvenient. So, actually, gotcha. I'm going to hit... If I hit him for four, though, I can bounce this guy. He's going to get one ones out of this. If I let him do that. I'm going to do that anyway. Gotcha. This is probably not the smartest, but I'm going to screw around because it feels like I'm doing effective things. 
Next turn, I have my choice of a million five-cost guys, most of whom are bad in this particular deck because of my only one weapon issue. He can get a 1-1 one -one out of that, but he can't pop this guy and get whatever he's planning to drop out of his hand, but craziness. Just me and Mr. Fight. Tundra Rhino. I don't think that's the one to play right now. I think I want to just play the Silverhand Knight, actually. Get all that meat out there. I could play the Sludge Belter and he would work out okay. But I'm ahead on life right now. Get out that stuff and kill a bunch of his minions if I can. So I don't think his plans work out super well. Although he can totally trade this guy and get something. Wow, he has something bigger than that that he wants to play. Or just another one. Damn it. Yeah. He's got the combo going and that's not good. Because now he has a ton of junk out there. And this guy is not big enough to be big game 100 either. I need to draw the alchemist right now. If I could Alchemist flip this guy, Big Game Hunter, and then I'm still going to die, but it looked good. Nope. Still going to die, and it's not going to look good. Yeah, I'm just going to get mauled. Not even going to be close, because he was able to get off the 3-4 guy, and I'm not sure what I could have really done about it. I mean, I could have played him, and then it wouldn't have died that turn. And maybe that's all I needed, but... He still would have had this out, which he can pop up to a 6-6, do whatever he wanted this turn. There's no way I can come back against that combo in the arena. It's ridiculous. I could get an Unleash the Hounds, but it would be a no-combo Unleash the Hounds. So it wouldn't actually accomplish that much. Wow, I'm so low, he's just like, yeah, why not? It worked out, it did some extra damage to me. It's not like I can take out his guys. If he got real lucky, he could have killed me. He didn't, but... What does it matter? That, that guy also didn't get big enough for me to big game hunter him, which I'm sure was intentional. Best I can do is... I know that. And shoot him and die. Boy. Well, we, we knew what was going to happen when this video started. I just actually thought it was going to happen like two videos ago. But that, he had, he got off the combo there. It's not like I was anything I could do to stop it. I didn't draw my owl. I didn't draw things that could kill stuff earlier enough. Yeah. And yeah, the other game my opponent's draw was just much better against mine than it was against his. My draw would have been okay against a slow deck. But six wins is pretty good. Did I get anything? I'll die? No. I'm not sure I had two implosions, so yay. Anyway. Well, that was a short video. I think we all kind of knew that was going to happen. There's no tavern brawl right now, so I'm not even going to bother with that. We'll just have to see if I can get another good run like that one, hopefully with a little bit better deck, next time. Show some love to the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.